Hello, today we will review the case of the preface underground cable and the task will be to calculate the ampacity. You see the cable is buried underground in the trench. The trench is filled with the sand. And when you apply the voltage, the current flows in the cable, the cable heats up and the ampacity the, is limited by the cable temperature. The high voltage cable consists of the central conductor, the insulation layer, the conducting shield and the insulation cover. There are different options to put three phase cables. You can put them in the line, in the triangle, The, the cable line length is 1 km and here in electric circuit you can see how the cables are connected to the three phase source and the ends of the cable conductors are grounded and the screens of the cable are grounded on each side. So what we know is the current flowing in the cable, but we do not know the current flowing in the shields. So the first task is to calculate current in each element for the specific configuration of the three phase cable. And the second step is to calculate temperatures. Now let's start quick field. I will create the new problem to calculate currents in the shields. I specify the folder to store problem files and the problem name. Cable underground. Next I should choose the proper, the proper problem formulation type. This would be AC magnetics as this is the three phase cable system. The frequency is 60 Hz. And the line length is 1 km. Now here you can see the geometry model editor window. You can open this window clicking here in, on the edit geometry button. You can draw the geometry model or you can import it from the DirectSafe file. I will import the cable drawing from the DirectSafe file. Here it is. And in this geometry model I should assign some labels to the elements so I can distinguish them one from another. Now this is the conductor, this is the insulation, this is the shield, and this is the cover. Well, not the conductor, but the conductor of the phase A. 
because there are three such cables in the system. So this is one cable, there is another cable, and somewhere here there is another cable. There are three cables. And these cables are buried underground for about half a meter in the trench. So this is the trench. The trench is filled with the sand and outside is the soil. So this is the soil. And above is the air. So I draw this line. And this is the air. Now we should check and see that we have three cables of the phase A should be corrected. Indeed, this is the conductor of the phase B and this is the conductor of the phase C. And this is the screen of the phase shield of this phase B and the shield of the phase C. And this is the shield of the phase A. This is the ground surface. And this is the external boundary. Now that's all. We have three cables, A, B, C. Each has each cable has the shield A, B, C. The cables are buried in the sand trench. Outside is the soil, and above the soil is the air. As we have labeled each object in this model, we can assign physical properties for materials and their boundary conditions and sources. For the air, in magnetic problem, I specified the permeability of 1 and 0 electrical conductivity. For the cover, cover, cover of the cable, I again specify this is the insulation. I specify permeability of 1. For the cable main insulation, again, magnetic permeability is 1. For the soil, magnetic permeability is 1 and for the sand, magnetic permeability is 1. Now these are conductors. Central conductor is made of copper, so the permeability is 1 and the electrical conductivity is 56 times 10 to the power 6 siemens per meter. And the same for other phase conductors. Magnetic permeability of 1 and conductivity of copper. Now the shields are made of aluminum, so the magnetic permeability of the shield is 1 and conductivity is 37 times 10 to the power of 6 siemens per meter. And the same, the same for the other phases shields. Now, what about sources? I would like to add the electric circuit to the to these field simulation model. So in the problem properties 
I specify that there will be an electric circuit. In the electric circuit I drag and drop conductors. Central conductors and the shields. The shields are grounded on each side and the ground resistance is 1 ohm. Conductors are connected. Conductors are connected in the star and these current sources Here is the star connected three phase system. And again, each side is connected to the ground. Now, these blocks represent the conductors in the finite element model. This is the conductors of the phase C in the finite element model. And these are just circuit elements without field simulation representative. Now this three phase system carries the count of 1000 amperes. Here I should specify the peak value, so I multiply this by the square root of 2. For the phase A, the conductor, the current has the phase of 0 degrees. For the phase B, the same magnitude, but the phase is 120. And for the phase C, the same magnitude, but the phase is 240. Now, electric circuit is ready. Finite element model is ready. Well, there is the boundary. Far away from our cables, the electromagnetic field fades to zero, so at the external boundary, I specify zero magnetic potential condition. Now I can run the simulation. I build the finite element mesh, save all problem files, and run the analysis. Here you can see the current density distribution in the central conductor and in the screens of the cable. And you may note that the current density distribution is not uniform. And indeed the power losses distribution is not uniform too. Well this is the finite this is the field simulation part but we also has the electric circuit we can take a look at the circuit result field part circuit part and in the circuit part we can find the current flowing in the shields You see, in the conductor it is 1000 amperes, as we have specified in the central conductor, and in the shield it is 
873 amperes. What else can we find here? We can find the, the impedance of each conductor. How we can calculate the impedance? We know the current here and imaginary part. We know the voltage real and imaginary part. If we divide complex value of the voltage by the complex value of the current, we can find the impedance, the resistance and the inductance of the cable. And the same for the screens. Well, what else? We can find the electromagnetic field generated by this three-phase cable system. For example, what will be the electric field on the ground surface? If I select the ground surface and switch to the XY plot and select the value of the flux density, I can see that just above the cables the flux density is about 23 microtesla. This is the magnetic field produced at this point by the cables.